Hey everybody, this is Army People Robots doing a little experiment with uh, surface finishes um, and uh, bed treatments in order to get better surface finishes on the bed as well as better adhesion so we don't have uh, peel up on the corners of uh, large flat prints. So uh, this here is the Army People Robots logo getting printed. Um, it's actually going to be a button that we're going to wear at Maker Fair 2012 Vancouver at the Peony Forum on the 23rd and 24th. There's a little shameless plug. Um, so what I've done in uh, this particular uh, print, uh, I've got regular blue tape down, which everybody will recognize, but I've been having some adhesion problems. Um, part of it is because I'm using this uh, Mixed Shop PLA, uh, and I'm not going to say anything more than I'm using um, the most recent batch of Mixed Shop PLA that hasn't worked out so well. Um, it's just not as sticky uh, to the bed, and also it's got some problems with temperatures. You have to run a little bit cooler than regular, so I wonder if maybe there's a copolymer in there that's not quite the right thing. Um, but all that aside, it's been making great mechanical parts, so I can't really complain too much. Surface finish just isn't there. Um, but one problem I have had with it is it seems like it expands and contracts a little bit more with heat uh, than regular polyloctide does. So um, I've been trying all kinds of crazy crap in order to get stick better. Um, and uh, most recently, I've been experimenting with different surface uh, treatments. So there, I just talked in a gigantic circle. So today's experiment was uh, two different experiments, actually. The first one, was I tried to use PVA, which some of you might recognize as um, plain old white glue. So PVA worked okay, it improved the surface uh, adhesion a little bit, uh, but it's nothing, and I mean literally nothing compared to what I'm using right now. So what I'm using right now is this little juice right here. Let's turn away in my messy garage. So what this is, is this is a dollop, that's a very technical measurement term, of this wonderful stuff, weld bond. So just a dollop of that, um, I'd say like a half a teaspoon in uh, about a table, uh, a couple tablespoons of water, I guess, real accurate. The, the quantities aren't really that important. Um, and then I use a paintbrush to apply it to the blue tape. So when you apply the blue tape, uh, sorry, you apply this sluice to the, uh, the slurry, to the blue tape, it actually comes out, it's completely dissolved. I shouldn't say slurry. Um, when you apply that to the blue tape, uh, and then turn your fan and heat a bed on, it disappears. It's gone. You, you can't tell at all that it's even there. Uh, and you need the most minute of amounts to get the effect that we're talking about. And this amazing effect is you will not be able to peel your part off of the blue tape without tearing off your blue tape. That sounds like a bad thing, except you will not be able to peel up your corners from thermal contraction while you're printing either. Uh, you get an amazing, amazing uh, bond to the table. So, obviously blue tape's not the perfect substrate because its glue actually isn't so hot either and it's peeling off my aluminum print bed. So, the next step is glass sheet. So, I have a glass sheet here that I'm going to switch to next. Everybody get motion sickness there? So you can see i got blue tape on side and I've got uh, on the flip side everybody's favorite ABS material, Kapton. So, what we're going to do after this is I'm going to use the pure glass side I'm going to use this, or I don't know, maybe here, haven't decided yet, whichever I end up getting better uh, temperature, um, sorry, thermal transmission through. Uh, and I'm going to try that same uh, treatment, because if I can get glass that does not require 150 degrees C to stick, I'm going to be one happy camper. That's how I'm going to Robots out, and I'll uh, fill you in later on how this